So, Blizzard has this online gaming service called Battle.net. Maybe you've heard of it. I don't know. It's been around since 1996, and indeed, after 20 years, they've decided to change their name. On their World of Warcraft blog, Blizzard announced that they are changing the name from Battle.net to Blizzard Tech. They say the change is motivated by confusion and inefficiencies around having two separate identities. There's been changes with things like Blizzard Streaming and Blizzard Voice, and so they want to continue these changes to bring unity under the Blizzard name. The name change to Blizzard Tech will take place in the next several months, apparently. I mean, this all makes sense, but I think after 20 years, people will miss the nostalgic sound of .NET. Samsung has unveiled the 960 Pro and 960 Evo M.2 NVMe SSDs, and they're real fast. They use a four-lane PCIe 3.0 interface like the 950 Pro. The 960 Pro offers a read speed of 3.5 gigabytes per second and writes of 2.1 gigabytes per second, while the Evo does 3.2 gigabytes per second and 1.9 gigabytes per second, respectively. The Pro and Evo use Samsung's Polaris controller, no relation to AMD's Polaris GPUs, which feature a five-core chip compared to the three-core chip in the 950 Pro. Both drives also feature Samsung's latest 3D vNAND technology. The 960 Pro and Evo have 48-layer NAND, allowing Samsung to offer a two-terabyte version. Damn, dude! But that one costs $1,300, so... Ah, uh, the Evo is cheaper. The Pro and Evo are set to release in October. AT&T has announced what they call Project AirGig. It's the company's plan to provide a multi-gigabyte internet connection over power lines. Only, the connection isn't carried through the power lines, but rather around them, as the power lines serve as a guide for the signal. AT&T has built low-cost plastic antennas in their lab, apparently, and the idea is to attach these antennas to power lines, creating a modulated radio signal around them, which could make internet readily available, whether it be in large cities or small towns all around the world. The fact that a fast connection like this could take place without the installation of new poles or anything like that sounds pretty interesting. Apparently there are a lot of unhappy AT&T customers in the States, so if the field trials starting next year go well, things are looking up from here. Do you know what time it is? Well, if not, let Longhaired Bear tell you. It's time for shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Thank you, Stratty. I'm, uh, I'm sorry for telling you to gouge your eye out on Twitter. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really too sure what came over me. If you would like to submit a video of yourself saying shorter news stories said more quickly than the others, then send us a tweet. Google Now is now just Google. Yes, they've renamed Google Cards to Feed, and now on tap is referred to as Screen Search in the newest update to the Google Search app. Also, the Google Allo Chat has just been released on Android and iOS, featuring, of course, Google Assistant and Smart Reply, which we talked about a while back. I mean, come on, I, I already use like three messaging apps, and one of those is still Hangouts, which I enjoy, so... Whatever, man. The Pokemon Company CEO really wants everyone to know that there will be Pokemon games on the Nintendo NX, and that it will be a sort of hybrid console redefining handheld devices as we know them. Even though Nintendo hasn't really said anything about it yet, except that it will maybe be unveiled before March. All right. The Surface Pro 3 had problems with the Simplo battery, then there was firmware to fix it, and it worked, but supposedly that same firmware may be what is now causing the LG batteries to be failing. Wow. Can't catch a break. YouTube has developed a new program called YouTube Heroes in which it rewards commenters for acting as moderators and reporting bad comments, writing accurate subtitles, and answering forum questions. I trust that all of you will be participating in this new initiative. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description below. I believe that's how the song goes, right? Newsletter? Wait, newsletter? Did some... Did someone say newsletters? Yes. Yes, it was me. I said newsletters. Anyways, uh, subscribe to the NCIX newsletter this month and you could win an EVGA GeForce GTX 1060. That's $300 value. Very nice. If you're already subscribed, you can enter this contest by claiming your NCIX newsletter points for the month of September. To learn more, click there or in the description below. Alright, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here to watch more videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. 
Also, if you haven't seen the bonus video from PAX, PAX with Barrett, click right here and watch that on NCIX TV. I hope you like it. And if you don't, I'm, uh, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments below. And, uh, and then I'll get my YouTube hero friends to, uh, to back me up. Okay. Okay, bye.